Hey guys, welcome to this Cult Live HIIT session with me, Subini, your coach. And joining me today is my amazing tribe. We have Srihita and Rahul. The three of us are here to motivate you through this body weight session. So stick with us. It's going to be super energetic and we're going to have a lot of fun while doing it. Today's body focus, the what focus is lower body and abs. So big muscle groups getting worked here and we're going to do this Tabata style. Uh, if you're doing the scaled down version, it's your first few classes, you're going to be following Srihita as she takes you through the scaled variation. So start off slow and then we're going to see how we can spot scale it as we move on. Champion your way through with Rahul Shetty if you are doing the advanced movements. Keep pushing yourself and let's get started. Before that, make sure you switch on your energy meter. It's going to give you a competitive score and rank at the end of the session. So keep an eye out for that. Keep your energy at an all-time high and collect all those golden points. Before we get started, keep a water bottle and towel close by and let's begin with the warm-up. Ready? Okay, for warm up, we have two rounds. We're going to do three movements. The first movement that we have is the simple squats. Yeah, so stand with your feet shoulder width apart, comfortably apart. And what you're going to do is push your hips back, sit down, chest up, back straight, and stand up tall. Yeah, we're going to move for 30 seconds like that. Show you from the side as well. Push your hips back, chest up. Keep your heels flat on the ground, sit back and stand up tall. Scale down, we can cut the range of motion. So maybe go just a slight hinge at the hip, do a half squat and stand up. Ready? Okay, let's get started in three, two and one. All the way down and stand up tall. It's going to help activate the muscles in the lower body. We're doing a lower body workout like I mentioned. When you're in that squat, jam your feet into the ground, your heels, your toes, firmly planted on the ground. Chest up, back straight. Scale down just a half squat. You don't have to go all the way down till your quads are parallel. Scale up, your quads are parallel or your hips are dropping below your knees. Yep, that's it. Let's go for the second one, the world's greatest stretch. So for this, what we're gonna do is get into that high plank position Get one foot in front, outside your palm. Drop that same palm, uh, elbow down and reach up. Down and up. Scale down, you can drop the back knee down and repeat the same thing. Yeah, we're gonna do 30 seconds on each side. Let's get started. Face each other, one leg in front and let's go. Drop your elbow down and reach up. A nice twist on that torso. You're going to feel that opening up your spine, your chest. Feel it in your hips, your ankles. Great mobility drill right here. Scale down, you can drop your back knee down to give you that additional support. Keep breathing, breathe out on top. A few more seconds here and we're going to switch legs. Yep, let's switch. And let's get started. Whichever leg is out, the same hand drops down and you do that rotation on top. It's all right if you feel that your mobility is better on one side than it is on the other. It takes time. Just be patient and you'll get there eventually. Go as far down as you can. You don't necessarily have to touch your elbow onto the ground. Nice work, slow and steady. Just getting warmed up. And that's done. All right, the last one that we have for warm up is the high knee with a pause, yeah? So we're gonna get our knees up towards our chest. Try and keep your quads parallel to the ground. So it's one, two, pause. One, two, pause, yeah? That's on the scaled up. Scaled down, we're gonna be doing a skip. So it's just there and then with the other leg. So you're just gonna do a small hop while you drive that knee up. Ready? Let's go in three, two, and one. One, two, pause. You can count in your head. You can go at your own pace, or you can follow him. He's going a little faster, gonna drive that heart rate up. And it also has that uh, element of stability because you're pausing once you've moved, yeah? Scale down, A skips. Drive your knee up towards your chest. Stand tall, move a little faster and we're done. Nice work. 
One round done, we're gonna move into the second round with the squats in three, two, and one. And down and up. Keep that chest up, keep your back straight. Push those hips back as you sit down in that squat. Feet comfortably apart, your knees track your toes. Scale down if you're comfortable. You can move into the squat a little deeper. Otherwise, you're more than welcome to stay in that half squat. Move just a little faster. And that's done. Warm up two. We're gonna get down for the world's greatest stretch. We're starting off with one side. Get your legs out, yes. And three, two, and one. Drop your elbow down, reach all the way up. Exhale on top. Down and up. Like I mentioned, it's all right if your elbow doesn't touch the ground, go as far as you are comfortable. Opening up the entire body here. Getting nice and warmed up and getting ready for the main workout. We're gonna switch in just a few seconds. Almost there and that's done. Let's switch the legs and get started. And up. A few more seconds. Scale down, your back knee is dropped. But if you're comfortable there, you're more than welcome to move into the scaled up and bring your knee off the ground. Nice and easy. A few more seconds. Almost there, and that's done. All right, the last movement, the high knee with a pause. Are you ready? Yeah, let's get started in three, two, and one. Pause, one, two, pause. Yeah, that's it. You can count in your head. Scale down, the A skips, you can move a little faster. Jump a little higher if you're comfortable. Get nice and ready. Your heart rate is gradually coming up. Last few seconds, let's move a little faster. Nice work. Follow their lead and stick with them. That's done. All right. So today's workout, we're done with the warm up. We're ready for the Tabata workout. So that's 20 seconds of hard work, 10 seconds off, eight rounds. So that makes one Tabata in total. Like this, we have four Tabatas for you. There's 30 seconds rest between each Tabata. So the first one that we have is the sumo squat plus the alternate froggers. Let me demonstrate. So for the sumo squat, you're gonna get your feet wider than the shoulder width and you, uh, make sure that your um, toes are pointing slightly outwards, not too much. You're gonna drop down in that squat and stand up tall. Plain and simple sumo squat. From the side as well, push your hips back, drop into the squat, stand up tall, yeah? And then the second one that we have is the alternate froggers. So for this, we're gonna get down on the ground in that high plank. Keep your entire body in one line, palms directly under your shoulders. So what you're gonna do is step out and then you're gonna alternate with that hop in the middle and do those froggers, yeah? On the scale down, we're gonna do a sumo half squat plus step froggers. So on the sumo half squat, just half range. You don't need to go as deep into the movement. Show you from the side as well, just to hinge at the hips. You don't have to go down lower. And the step froggers, again, in that high plank position, step and with the other leg, repeat the same, yeah? Ready team? Yes. Okay, let's get started with the sumo squat. Feet wider than shoulder width in three, two, and one. Let's go. Down and up. You're gonna feel that work in your glutes, in your inner thighs with that sumo position. Keep that chest up. Remember those points of performance. We did air squats in the warm up. Similar points apply here. Your feet are firmly jammed onto the ground. And that's done. 10 seconds of rest. We're gonna move into the alternate froggers. Get down into position, get ready. Take a few deep breaths. Great explosive movement coming up and let's go. So on the scaled up, we're doing that hop when we're switching between legs. Scale down, you're doing the step froggers. Either way, remember, don't lift your hips up too high. Keep that core tight. Nice work. Start off slow, get comfortable with it. 
and then we can increase the pace as we move on. Let's rest for 10 seconds. We're gonna go into round three with the sumo squats. Shake it out, get ready. Tabata workout, quick paced. We're literally in and out and let's start. Down and up, down and up. Chest up, back straight, go as low as you can. Scale down, you're doing the half sumo squat. Follow their lead. And just starting off, you're gonna feel that in your quads and your thighs as well. All right, 10 seconds, back to the froggers. Ready? Okay, let's kill it. In three, in two, and one. Let's go. Nice and slow, you're gonna feel that work in your shoulders, in your hip flexors, your glutes, your core. Beautiful movement, great conditioning workout right here. Full body conditioning happening. I'm gonna shoot that heart rate up and we're done. All right, 10 seconds of rest. We're gonna go on for round five with the sumo squats. This is just the first Tabata. Get used to this pattern where you're doing 20 seconds and 10 seconds rest. Let's go, three, two, one. Nice work. You can move a little faster. Get in as many reps as you can. Count those reps in 20 seconds. How many sumo squats are you doing? And try and hit that every round. Nice work, guys. All right, 10 seconds break. Alternate froggers, let's get down on the floor. Get ready. We're gonna pick up the pace this time. Just a little bit, all right? Yeah. In three, in two, and one. Come on. Make sure when you're doing this, you're staying on your toes at the back and when you're coming forward, you're jumping forward, land on your heels so that it's more comfortable for you. Step frog is here, but as you can see, she's picked up the pace. She's moving really fast in here as well. Come on guys, keep pushing and we're done. All right, that one's a killer for sure. Just <laughs> two more rounds left on this Tabata. Hang in there, we're gonna start off with the sumo squats. Let's go. Down and up. All the way down and up. <sighs> Breathe out on your way up. <sighs> really feeling that work on the lower body already. Get in those extra reps, keep moving. Just 20 seconds of work. <sighs> Almost there and that's done. All right, last round, the alternate froggers. Let's do this. Get down. Catch your breath, just a few more seconds left, and then we go full speed ahead. Yeah, let's go. Wow, look at them move. If you're feeling comfortable on the scale down, you can try just a few reps of the scaled up. Nice work. Keep moving, and then you can move back to the step froggers. Completely up to you. Come on, almost there, don't give up, don't give up. And that's done. Nice work. One Tabata done, 30 seconds rest here. Let me introduce the second Tabata. The first movement that we have is the inchworm. So for this, what you're gonna do, stand with your feet hip width or shoulder width apart, comfortable for you. And you're gonna bend down, try and keep your knees soft. Don't bend your knees too much. Go all the way into that high plank, sink your hips a little lower than that. And then you're gonna stand up tall. Yeah, that's the scaled up. Scaled down, we're doing the bent knee inchworm. So here you have the liberty of bending your knees slightly. When you're getting into that inchworm position, in that high plank, and all the way up. If you're uncomfortable with that, more than welcome to put your knees down when you reach that high plank, yeah? Then we have the elbow plank. For this, on the scaled up, palms directly under your, uh, your elbows directly under your shoulders, entire body in one line, neck neutral, and you're gonna hold here. On the scaled up, High plank, palms, uh, sorry, scale down. High plank, palms directly under the shoulders, knees and uh, an entire body in one line. Yeah, let's go. In three, two, and one with the inchworms. All the way down into that high plank and back up. Scale down, you have the liberty of bending your knees to make it more comfortable. Scaled up, you're keeping your knees as straight as possible. You're gonna feel that in your hamstrings. And once you reach the high plank, of course, in your core. And we're done. 10 seconds and then we're go gonna go in for the planks. Elbow plank scaled up, scaled down high plank. Let's get started in three, two, 
and one. Entire body in one line. On the scale down, your palms are directly under your shoulders. Scaled up, elbows are directly under your shoulders, yeah? Try and keep your palms in front. Don't hold or clasp them on the scaled up. Keep that core engaged. Pull your rib cage up and that's done. All right, how are you guys doing? Good, yeah? Getting into it, really gonna start moving faster now. We've got the inchworms. Let's get started now. This is round three and all the way back. On the scale down, you're bending your knees. If you're uncomfortable in the high plank, you can drop your knees down there and stand up tall. Just show them one rep like that. Yeah, drop your knees down and back up. Exactly like that. And we're done. Nice work. Catch your breath, get ready. Elbow plank in a few seconds. High plank on the scale down. Excellent work team, stay with us, let's go. Isometric hold right here, your muscles are under tension, you're really gonna feel that midsection burn. Like we mentioned, it's a lower body and ab workout, so let's get it. All right, stay with us, keep breathing, hold on, it's just 20 seconds, a few more seconds, and we are done, all right. Round five, inchworms, get ready at the edge of, edge of, your, edge of your mat, sorry. <laughs> Few seconds, catch your breath and let's go. All the way down, feel that in your hamstrings, the entire back of your legs. Try and keep those knees straight when you're going down. Then into that plank, brace your core, stand up tall. That's the scaled up. Scale down, you're still bending your knees. If you're comfortable, you're more than welcome to uh, start straightening your knees as well. And that's done. Oh, got in an extra rep here. <laughs> 10 seconds break, down for the planks, round six. <sighs> Catch your breath, get ready, and up. All right. If you wanna make it a little more intense, you can try and moving your feet, try moving your feet closer together. That really challenges your stability and it's really gonna fire up that core as well. I just made it harder for you, right? <laughs> We're done. It's all right, you guys are champions. Stick with them, they're doing an amazing job. I'm sure you guys are as well. We're gonna go in for round seven inchworms now. Try and get in a, a little more speed when you're doing this now. This is the last round of inchworm. Excellent work. You can see Shrihita is also trying not to bend her knees. Good stuff. This is great and we're done. This time, oh, they both got in an extra rep. 10 seconds rest and then we're gonna go in for the last round on the plank. Elbow plank scaled down, high plank scaled up and let's go. Hold it, make sure you're keeping your entire body in one line, your hips don't sink down or rise up. Just 20 seconds, it's the last 20 seconds of this Tabata, come on, stick with them. Almost there. Keep breathing, don't forget, and that's done. Okay, good to go, yep. Done with two Tabatas, we've got two more. I'll explain while you take a 30 seconds breather. So the first movement that we have in this one is the pulse jump lunge. So for this, we're gonna get into that lunge position. On the scaled up, you're gonna do one pulse and then switch to the other leg, one pulse and switch. Yeah, but we're gonna take it slow at first, understand the movement and then we're gonna pick up the pace. On the scale down, what you're gonna do instead of the jump lunges, you're gonna do the reverse lunge. So drop back, other leg and stand tall. On uh, this next movement that we have is the butterfly sit-ups. For this, you're gonna lie down, keep your feet uh, close together, facing each other, lie on your back. And what you're gonna do is get your hands up and overhead, come front, touch your toes, back, touch your toes and back, yeah? Scale down, what you're gonna do is the feet off crunches. So for this, get your feet up, perpendicular to the ground, keep your hands behind your neck for support, up and down. Go up 
and down. Make sure you keep your neck neutral, facing towards the ceiling. You don't want to strain your neck. Yeah, ready? Okay, 20 seconds of work. Let's get started with the pulse jump lunges in three, two, and one. Let's go. One pulse and jump, switch to the other leg. Pulse and switch to the other leg. Scale down, reverse lunges. Keep a count of your reps. Try and make sure you hit those reps each and every round. Nice work. I think I'm gonna join in on this one and jump. And that's done. All right, 10 seconds, butterfly sit-ups down on the ground, feet facing each other close together and feet off crunches on the scale down. Let's get started now. All the way up and back, hands overhead. You're gonna feel that, especially in your lower abdomen. Scale down, feet off crunches. As you can see, she's keeping her neck neutral, crunching up, breathe out, and then back down. Same here, when you're coming up, feel that contraction, and you're gonna breathe out. And that's done. Okay, jump lunges, are you ready? Yes? yes. Okay, reverse lunges on the scale down. Let's get started. In three, in two, and let's go. Pulse, jump, pulse, and jump. Come on, stick with us. Gonna move just a little faster. Really gonna fire up that lower body with this one. Feel it in your quads, your glutes. Be careful of that mat, it may be slippery if you're comfortable. Step off the mat and do the same. All right, that's done. 10 seconds of rest. Lie back down, get ready, butterfly sit-ups. In a few seconds, catch your breath. Give me a big smile. Let's do this. All right, let's start. All the way up and back. Count your reps, come on. Three and four. Nice work. Understand the movements and then try and pick up the pace. Keep challenging yourselves. Remember that energy meter is tracking your movements and we're done. Okay, really feeling that core burn, right? <laughs> okay, get ready, pulse jump lunges. Scale down, reverse lunges. You can step off the mat if it'll make it easier. Yeah. All right, let's go. Pulse and jump. Pulse and jump. One pulse and jump. Let's move just a little quicker, even on the reverse lunges. Nice one. Gonna help get those strong legs. Biggest muscle groups are in your lower body. We're really working them, really strengthening them, and done. Catch your breath, 10 seconds, butterfly sit-ups and the feet off crunches. Relax, deep breaths, let's go. Up and all the way back down. Touch your palms at the back and come up, touch your toes. Scale down. Nice work, Shihita. Keep moving, keep pushing yourselves. Feel that midsection work and we're done. Okay, last two rounds of this Tabata. Let's go with the pulse jump lunges, round seven. A dynamic movement, really shooting your heart rate up. Let's start. Pulse and a jump. Lower body on fire, yeah? Keep that concentration on a high. Let's finish this off with a bang. Nice work, keep moving. Sink down as low as you're comfortable on the scale down, and we're done. <laughs> we're relieved to be done with those. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are feeling it as well. Just shake it off, get down for the butterfly sit-ups. It's the last round for this Tabata. Let's go. Round eight. Move just a little faster. Keep pushing yourselves. Get in as many reps as you can. Come on, team. Let's do this. Nice work. Even on the scale down, she's moving faster. Raul Shetty is killing it. Come on up and all the way down. Breathe out on your way up. Contract that midsection and we're done. Relax. 30 seconds, grab a sip of water. Wipe yourself off with a towel. We're gonna move on to the last one. This is Tabata 4. We have two movements. So the first one is the quad rockers. For this, you're gonna get into that beast position, yeah? With your palms directly on your shoulders, knees on your hips. You're gonna push your hips back. Shoot forward, keep your legs straight, your chest comes over your palms. 
back and forward yeah on the scale down what we're going to be doing is the beast position to the downward dog so again the beast position palms directly under your shoulders knees under your hips and your knees are slightly off the ground from here you're going to go into the downward dog and back down downward dog back down brace that core when you're doing this movement the second one we have is the sprawls a great uh, full body conditioning movement so for this place your palms down jump back jump forward stand up tall one more time down shoot back shoot forward stand up tall scale down you're going to do the step sprawls so down step back step back step forward step forward stand up tall keep alternating so if you started off stepping back with your left leg next time start off stepping back with your right leg yeah ready yes. let's get started the last tabara quad rockers first in three two and one this is really going to fire up those quads you're going to feel that load as you move back and shoot forward breathe out when you're coming forward chest over your palms scale down we're doing the beast position to the downward dog feel that in your quads as well when you come into that beast position keep that core tight and we're done 10 seconds of rest going in for the sprawls you can step off the mat if you need to if it's a little sweaty be careful be aware and let's get started now step sprawl scale down but she's not compromising on that speed look at her go scaled up we're doing the regular sprawls shoot back and jump forward when you're shooting back try and keep your hips down yeah keep that core engaged exactly remember you're alternating your legs on the scale down and that's done 10 seconds catch your breath we're going to go in for those quad rockers relax deep breaths round three doing good let's go back and shoot forward now yeah, join them on this one and forward breathe out knees are always off the ground here come on keep moving gonna feel that burn in your quads scale down beast position to downward dog stick with them they're doing an amazing job let's take 10 seconds relax get ready for the sprawls few more seconds here and let's go shoot back jump back forward stand tall come on count your reps three and down four five nice work move faster it's going to help with your agility great combination of strength and cardio in this one movement and that's done <laughs> 10 seconds and we're going to move on to the next round with the quad rockers round five catch your breath we're almost there hang in there and let's go shoot back and forward keep your knees off the ground on that scaled up as well as the scale down core tight a few more seconds here try and move a little faster even on the scale down excellent work relax nice round six we've got the sprawls are you ready yes ready they're ready stick with them and let's go jump back shoot back forward stand tall make sure you stand up tall once you're done don't leave your hips behind stand tall keep alternating legs on the scale down if you start off with your right on one then start with the left on the other it's all about that balance and that's done take it easy last two rounds keep pushing we're almost there quad rockers round seven in a few seconds catch your breath and let's go come on team on the scale down if you're comfy you can move into just doing a few quad rockers and forward yeah nice one look at them go keep moving just a little faster a few more seconds left push yourselves and that's done nice work excellent stuff great work out there last round round eight with the sprawls try a few on the scaled up if you're comfortable let's go 
down, jump back, forward, stand up tall. Shrihit has added a challenge for you guys. It's the last round. If you're comfortable, move as fast as you can. Come on, keep pushing. We're almost there, almost at the finish line. We've got super strong, a great lower body and ab workout. Almost done. And that's done. Nice work. Excellent work. Whoa. You guys smashed it. You did an amazing job. We're feeling super strong. We got in a great workout, full body sweating, but we worked on the lower body and the abs. <laughs> Grab a sip of water, wipe yourself off with the towel. We're gonna move into the cool down. Take a deep breath in and out. One more deep breath in and out. Okay. So the first one for the cool down, we have the half saddle that's going to help stretch out your quads. For this, I'm going to sit back, I'm going to keep one leg behind, stretch out the other leg and I'm just going to lean back as far as I can, feeling that stretch on the quad muscle. Yeah, I'm going to do 30 seconds on each side. Ooh, it was a sweat fest here. <laughs> All right, get into position, lean back and hold for 30 seconds. Deep breaths in and out from the stomach. Just try and relax. It's a really intense workout. You guys pulled through. If you want to scale it up further, you can do what Rahul Shetty is doing. He's gone all the way back down. But remember, keep your knee on the ground. Deep breaths. A few more seconds and we're going to slowly transition onto the other side. Catch your breath. And let's switch. Slowly come out of bed and change the leg and lie back down. Nice one. Just relax. Deep breaths. Amazing work. So much uh, stress on that lower body, on those muscles. So really need to stretch it out properly. And this is exactly how we're going to do it. Deep breaths, relax, and slowly come out of that. The next movement that we have is the seated forward fold. For this, we're just gonna keep our feet in front, bend from the hips, reach as far as you can without curving your back, yeah? Hold here for 30 seconds, and let's go. Try and keep your knees straight and on the ground. Go as far as you're comfortable. It could be towards your uh, shin, your ankle, or even if you're fine at your knees, it's all right. Remember, you're pushing from your hips. Don't curve your back. Yeah. Deep breaths. Breathe in and out with each exhalation. Try and move further into that stretch. And we're done. Slowly come out of that. Next up, the cobra. So for this, gonna lie on your belly, palms outside your chest and you're gonna push your upper body up and hold there for 30 seconds. Make sure that your shoulders are away from your ears and let's go. You're gonna feel that compression on your lower back and it's really gonna help stretch your torso out, your abs. You really did a lot of ab work. So just breathe into that. Your hips are on the ground and you're just pushing your upper body. Make sure your shoulders are not coming up. They're staying away and pulled back from your ears. Just a few more seconds and then we have the downward dog. Let's get out of this. Stay down. What you're gonna do is from here, just tuck your toes in and push your hips up towards the ceiling. Push your chest towards your thighs and hold it there. Yeah, down and lift your hips up. Stay there. It's all right if your heels don't touch the ground. You can stay on your toes, keep your knees soft, but keep pushing, pressing your palms into the ground, lifting your hips towards the ceiling. You're gonna feel this in your lower back as well. Oh, sorry, your upper back, your shoulders, and of course the back of your legs, your hamstrings. Just keep breathing into that. We're almost done. Really dig your palms into the ground. 
Just a few more seconds in three, two, and one. We are done. Excellent work. Nice work. My tribe absolutely killed it. I'm sure you guys as well. Give yourselves a pat on the back for your effort. We've completed this lower body and ab workout and we really smashed it, right? Yes. Okay, so it was a great combination of, you know, you had strength, you're gonna feel really strong in those muscles. And of course, we had full body conditioning that shot your heart rate up and made the workout super intense and added that fun element as well. Great work, everybody. On that note, a small tip to end the session. Make sure you listen to your body. Everything comes in moderation. So make sure you are mindful about your abilities and don't overtrain yourself at any point of time. Each day is a stepping stone towards your fitness goals. So make sure that you listen to your body and you don't overtrain at any point, right? Okay. Take it slow, be patient with it. If you're moving faster, if you're working harder on one day, make sure you give your body time to recover and don't strain yourself as you're moving into the next days as well. On that note, we're gonna say our closing ritual, we are cult with a punch, yeah? In three, two, one, we are cult. Take care, rest up, see you soon.